Oh. The Biggie Duets. Oh. Jazzy Fizzle. Fizzle, Fizzle. Jagged Edge. Biggie Smalls. Ladies and gentlemen, I go on and on and on and go take them to the crib unless they bone in. Easy, call them on the phone and clap them Chanel cologne and I stay dressed to impress. Hey, all right, what's shaking, social count peeps? Well, this late is another installment of Dating at 30. Um, you're like, oh, last week in Lagos, I drove to Edmonton to um, visit Elizabeth Harrison, which was fun. Like, I got to meet her friends and everything. Um, and then I uh, like, went out to a bar afterwards and I uh, made a few drinks. Uh, it was about more than a few drinks, actually. Um, like, one of the major, um, was it? Uh, sorry. Um, one of the major like, conversations that we had um, was about the fact that women, uh, when they are dating, they give their shit up right away. Um, okay, Kaleo, um, um, uh, Kaleo, this installment is going to, like, um, what's it every lady out there like, that is dating. Um, so, like, I don't know why that women feel that they have to give their shit up. You know, like right away. You know what I mean? Like you women, like you hold the cards. Seriously, I mean, like you hold the cards, and you know, why would you give up those cards? You know what I mean? Like you may think um, that it's gonna make the guy like you, but it's not gonna make the guy like you. So, like, me personally, like if a woman they um, gives her shit up on the first date, okay, I'm gonna strap it on. You know what I mean? Like um, and like, then I'm gonna work it and I'm gonna get the job done, right? Um. But really, really, um, you know, like the odds of me, I'm probably uh, phoning you back um, for like, for like um, anything other than a um, um, booty call is probably like, um, slim and few, few and far between unless I really like your ass. Um, and you know, like, don't get me wrong, there is like always like um, the extenuating like um, circumstances. But you know I mean, like, there's like, some people out there that you're fucking so attracted to. And, like, it doesn't matter like if you fuck on the first date, it doesn't matter. Like, you just fucking. Yeah, I mean, like, you're just with them 100%, like totally, right? But in general, yeah, um, like if you give up your shit on the first fucking date, or even the second or third date, sorry, um, it was like in my opinion, you were whole. Um, and, no, okay, like, oh, the word of the wise lady, of um, every single guy out there, well, fuck you, like, I mean, like um, if you give it up. I mean, like, if he doesn't, then the guy has um, extreme morals, and I don't know. He might be, he might be like a um, he, uh, like he might be like on the level of being homosexual, um, or you know, he's a pussy. Well, like, oh, there's different like factors that come into play, right? Um, why wouldn't you like, like, like you serve up? Men are sexual creatures. Men are men are visual creatures. Like ladies, like if. Be a fucking cock tease, but don't be a fucking, a fucking frigid cock tease, where at the end this guy isn't going to get fucking jack shit, you know what I mean? Okay, like if things are getting hot and heavy, maybe third date, okay, let's suck him off, give him a hand job, let him, I was going to eat you up, but don't let him, I was going to penetrate you, man, like, because the moment you do, fucking like, that's it, man, man, like, oh, all, um, all your love cred fucking flies out the fucking window, man. Um, you hold the cards. Fucking play the cards. You know, like, what I look for is a woman that'll fucking cock tease me, man. It'll get me so excited that, like, hey, let's say, um, on like the seventh day when we do, all I want to do is fuck the living shit out of her, man. There's nothing else I want to do but make her feel good and just fucking pound the shit out of that punani, man. But, like, like, when I'm that horny, sex is always fucking better, man. Always. Always better. And, Ladies, no, you make the guy want you. You know what I mean? Like, don't make him. Like, um, don't. You, like, no, man, like, make him want you, man. Like, don't give it up. Because the moment you do, he won't want you anymore, man. I mean, like, I mean, like you're just a plaything. You know what I mean? Okay, there's, um, a fuck friends and whatever else, and I don't want to do booty calls, and, you know, like, there's a whole separate role and a whole separate rant that I could do about that shit. But I'm talking about. You know, like, if you're on a date and you like this person, don't fucking give it up. Because you lose all your fucking relationship. Um, um, and, like, your dating cred. You know what I mean? It's always in the back of his head. He's going to 
think, you know, like, who else, like, has she done this too? You know what I mean? Like, and then it fuels future, future shit down the road, man. They all, you know, what you need to do, like, is take it from me. Fucking hold your cards and play them wisely. Because, like, oh, the guy that wants to be with you, the guy that really likes you, well, he will wait those seven days. You know, um, seven days is the limit that I'm giving. Because if you guys, I don't know, man, like, seven days, I'm like, fucking, like, I'm seven days, I'm getting squirrely. You know what I mean? Like, all I want to do is just fucking physically express myself, baby. Um, <laughs> oh, that's a good fucking line. Um, but yeah, man, like, you know, like um, seven days is probably the limit. Seven days, you know, like, seven days is the longest that, like, either of me or another female that I'm dating has lasted. And on that seventh day, holy fuck, man. Sparks fly and fountains blow, man. It's... Man, 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 it's because you let it build up to this pressure, man. And he ultimately... I mean, like, if you don't fuck him right away, like, it fuels... Fuels his urge to like you and his, like... Man, like, and, like, his attraction to you, man. Like, he will be so attracted to you by the end of those four days that once you let him loose on your shit... Oh well, man, like, he's gonna fucking lay it down like a motherfucker, man. Well, like, he's gonna bring fuck the, the shit. I mean, like he's gonna go in there with guns blazing, like guaranteed. Oh, um, I mean, like, and one word of the wise, I mean, like there's a lot of pressure built up on this seventh day. Um, so if the guy gets off right away, you know, within a, a semi-fast time, he, okay. Now, on the seventh day, this guy will have more than one bullet in the chamber to fucking feed your ass. And, yeah, I mean, like, all you're gonna do is just, okay, like, wipe it off. Like, let him, like, I don't know, was it gonna recharge his batteries? And he will fucking wipe your, wipe your sl slate clean on the fucking second try. So just, you know, like, if I'm gonna give him, you know what I mean? Like, wait a little bit, like, give him a chance. There's so much pressure built up on this. And, um, when a guy shoots his load, most of it's mental. Like mental, you know what I mean? Like that's that's why it goes off so fast. Cause you know, like um the, the like a good guy um will control his ejaculation mentally. It's all mentally. Um, you know, some physically, obviously, but yeah. You know, if he's so turned on, man, that shit's going off like fucking within like four or five minutes. But like, just give him another chance. So ultimately, I'm just gonna let you guys go, women. This episode is going out to your asses. Don't give it up on the first date or the third date. Be a cock tease, but don't be a frigid bitch. All right, man, rock this shit out. It's Monday. I hope your Monday's going good. Rock this shit out, peeps. I love you guys.